everyone. It's Twyla. It's my trash has piled up. So now it's time for me to go through, talk about what I used up these past couple of months, what my thoughts are, and if I'd buy them again. This is where I kind of do my mini reviews and it's generally kind of long. Right now I'm wearing these actually, the last little set of these, what is this, DHC Rich Eye Zone little masks. I feel like if these were black, I could be on the cover with the other Umbrella Academy members. <laughs> I feel like these are the perfect little line. <laughs> but they're dry. There's no serum or anything. They're dry and sticky. So I don't really know what the purpose is. I, I, I thought this said hyaluronic acid and hydra, hy, hydrating. And I just, I'm not getting it. So weird. I've worn them before and I didn't notice anything. So I wouldn't buy these again for that alone. Let's get into the rest of this. Let me go through and get some things out. Okay, I'm gonna start off since I'm wearing some eye masks, I'm gonna start off with some self-heating eye masks. So I have been, these are so nice, especially if you're, if you wanna have a self-care moment, a, you wanna de-stress, meditate, focus, or if you have a headache, migraine, sinuses, anything like that. I've been using these self-heating eye masks and I've got several different kinds here. I first started with the space masks. Um, these were available on Neiman Marcus and these are spacemasks.com. They just, they're like this and they have the um, little, the hand warming, you know, those little packs, those little in the wintertime, you can get those little packs, you rip them open. And there's there one time use only, you can put them in your pocket and coat pocket, keep your hands warm. That's basically basically what these are, but made for the eyes. So they go over like that. They're really nice. The space masks get quite warm. Um, real, real warm, almost to hot, I would say, the space masks. Um, and then they have these starry eyes off of Amazon that are similar. So here's the difference, actually. <laughs> Not a whole lot of difference. These are from Pop Mask. Um, and these are the space masks, the original. So they're the same size and the same design on the back. These are about maybe five bucks cheaper or about the same on Amazon. And they're not, they're not scented or anything. These aren't. So then I started checking into other self-heating masks on Amazon. And these, I believe these are in like, there's like 10 or 15 in a box whereas these only come in five masks in a box and they're like 25 bucks um and these are the similar in shape no prettiness on them right same shape just plain black these don't get as hot as the those others do this kind of gets warm still nice very very nice the uh, the elastic the difference is this is more like of a a little real thin hairband kind of style, and this is an actual elastic. Um, that's the, the, the difference, but these are more affordable. And then there's even these from Be My Lady. These are the Spa Steam eye masks. This is from the Reposé line. Um, these are from Amazon. These are unscented, but they do have ones that are lavender scented, chamomile scented, all different kinds of scents. If you're into if you want to do some aromatherapy when I have migraines I can't do the scents it just makes it worse so but these oop dog hair well dog these are um colored I think the lavender ones are actually lavender color but the same same style goes like this only these are when they come in the pack they're like this so when you open them up they have this ear soft ear elastic you pull it apart break it apart and then this is what goes over your ears and these are so soft on the ear they're not these are a little bit giving an elastic but these are so soft i actually think i like these spa steam eye masks a lot better than the starry eyes and the pop mask but i still have several left of each just because i don't use these every day but they're also nice if you want to relax in the bath you know so there's those highly recommend some self-heating eye masks especially for relaxation and interesting enough on the back of this one it says effectively promotes microcirculation relieves 
eye fatigue, sore eyes, dry eye, blur vision, etc. Improve black eye, dilute fine wrinkles, and effective in aiding sleep. I, I couldn't speak to any of those other than the relaxation and the fact that it does help when I have migraines. Well, it's not every time I have a migraine does, do I want the heated eye mask. Sometimes I need my ice pack. If I can have something on my face or head, sometimes my migraines get so bad, I can't, my hair hurts. Um, I, I can't have anything touching my, I can't even lay down on the pillow at that point. I have to just sit with my head rest. Okay, going off topic. Uh, let's get into some other things. Okay, this is the Sephora little razor for your face. I do shave my little peachy fuzz off. And so I just, when I was at Sephora a long time ago, when everybody could still go in stores, I had picked up these. I like these because they're, the blade is um, quite thicker. Went through some lotions. This is the Amber Blush 24 Hour Ultra Shea. They don't carry this scent anymore. I wish they would bring it back. When they were discontinuing it, I bought a bunch. They still smell great. So I think I have one, one left maybe. And then this is the Tatcha Indigo Soothing Oil Body Butter that was purple in color. Very, very rich. Very, very nice. Smelled nice. Not as much as I like the Amber Blush scent that, that's not longer, but this was nice, very some face mist that I went through, the Caudalie Beauty Elixir. Uh, this has a very, this is scented. I don't know what is in here. So this is has a, a scent that lingers, um, but I do like it. Um, I wish it was in a bigger bottle. <laughs> this was the Pearless, oh, okay, no. I went through the Pearless Rose Water Vinegar Balancing Mist. I got this at Marshall's a long time ago, but I like the bottle. So I washed the bottle out, put some more rose water in there and used it to continue to spray. It's got a great little mister on it and I really like this glass bottle. So I am I'm keeping it, the glass bottle. Also went through the Amore Pacific Moisture Bound Skin Energy Hydration Delivery System. This was a small little travel size. It was great, I like it. I, this is a very expensive line, but I did like this mist. Got some hair things in here I went through. Um, the, actually I had, I think it was Revlon's 12 or 20, whatever it is, the little, similar to this one, 12 Benefits. This was in a, an Ulta thing. I think it came in. I'm not sure. Um, but I actually used this to spray on when my hair was dry. These leave-in conditioners when my hair is dry. Um, and then I use it to scrunch. Look at how frizzy my hair is because we had a thunderstorm come through and it is just so humid. And look how frizzy it is. Ugh. But I, I like this has a really good mister on it. So I keep filling this up with items that um, from leave-in conditioners. So can you see a theme here? I like to keep things that have good misters. Because a lot of products are good. It's just the mister that they use either in sprays is horrible. And so I just, I just keep them just in case I have something that has a really aggressive spray and I don't like it. I can try it in one of these and see if it's the product or if it's the mister. Okay, this was um, a purchase from Target a long while back. This is the Kristen S. V1 Signature Hair Water. And so what I used this for was, um, it says to use it to, re to revive your style. And what it is, see that mist? I, I did leave a little bit in here because I wanted to show you. That is such a fine mist. And this scent reminds me of my um, Aunt Sylvie's wardrobe. It smells musky like that. Um, and it's not a great scent that I want in my hair. <laughs> what I was using it for was um, third day hair. I would spray it and get it wet with this and then use my um, dry brush, hair brush to blow it out a little bit if I wanted it straight. But I, I don't like the way that it makes my hair feel once it's dry. So let's get into some serums. You can't see what was in here, but it was the Estee Lauder Advanced Eye Serum in here. I had the tub of it, the big tub of it, and I would scoop it out and put it in here because of this little ball that I could do this with. But I don't travel anymore now, so I'm just gonna get rid of this instead of washing it out and keeping it. This was a little sample of the number seven Restore and Renew Face Neck Multi-Action Serum. This was nice, not really enough in here to go off of anything, but I would try it, I would buy it again. I was gonna say there's also this Restore and Renew Day Cream sun cream broad spectrum from number seven. I did like this. I actually might buy this day cream 
again, I really like that restore and renew line from number seven. So I would try, I would buy their line, their products. Let's do a little ordinary, shall we? I have the hyaluronic acid and the buffet with the peptides. So I am purchasing, I think I bought the buffet. There's another one. It's not that comes with, is it copper peptides? So I bought that one and um, I do like the niacinamide too. So I do like the Ordinary line. I also have from Good Molecules, the, I finished their Wake Up Eye Serum. This was okay. Um, I mean, it was a routine that I felt good with because I had a serum I could use my, um, I have a metal ball that on a stick, <laughs> like spatula thing that I can, that I could put this in and rub and massage my eye area. So it was quite nice for that. But did I see any brightening or firming with this? No. I mean, this says it has caffeine and pumpkin extract to brighten, firm, and depuff. I really didn't notice any of that. I think any depuffing that, that happened was from the cold uh, little eyeball massager that I have and not necessarily from this wake up serum. Okay. This was the Lumine Nordic Sea Glow Boost Essence. So when you go to Target, this has been a long while back, long, long while. When you go to Target and they have that one little section that has like travel size things and they're all really reasonably priced, you know, three to five dollars, right? This was setting in there in a box. And so I thought it was going to be around the similar price. Oh no, this is not necessarily a drugstore price, but this was a nice little serum. I liked it. I didn't know it. I didn't use it straight every day because I alternated some products with this, but I would purchase it again. This is a very, very, very tiny little, I mean, that's comparison bottle there. Okay. Something that I got in my FabFitFun, I don't, was this winter? I can't remember. What, look at me with on my nose. Why do I do that? I don't know. I'm not smelling it. This was the Resurgence Rapid Collagen Infusion. <sighs> there's some left, and normally I don't do this. If there's a product that, that it doesn't have a, a dastardly effect on my skin, I usually use it up. However, about halfway through, this started to pill up on my face, and it didn't matter how little I used. It didn't matter if I used it before serums, after serums, before moisturizer, after moisturizer, it didn't matter if I put it on right away or if I waited a half an hour. It, I think something changed in the product after, after, I don't know what the date is on this, but I kind of think that maybe just it hit its life expectancy and that's why it started to pill up. And, but I just, I couldn't do it anymore after that. Um, once it started to pill up, I, you know, if I was wearing makeup, my makeup, I would notice my makeup also. I'd be like, man, what is all that, you know, coming up? Get in my hair. That's how pilly it was. So, I mean, I enjoyed it up until then. Got some skincare here. This was a Bobby, a miniature Bobbi Brown hydrating eye cream that I kept here at my vanity. I really enjoyed it. It was very, very rich and creamy for my eye. I think I would like to buy the full size of this, but I don't know how much it costs, but this was Lasted quite a while sitting here at my little vanity. Also, one thing, the Black Tea Age Delay Eye Concentrate. Oh, wow. This lasted a very, 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 very long time. I think this is actually a full-size eye cream. And um, I got it in a kit right around Christmas time. And I really enjoy this eye cream a lot. I really like it. I like this Black Tea line from Fresh. I actually like the, the black. I like the Fresh line a lot. So, okay, here's a purchase that I made that I, I don't think I would purchase again. This is the Kiehl's Ginger Leaf and Hibiscus Firming Mask. Instantly skin feels firmer and looks smoother. It is an overnight mask and it took forever, forever, forever to get through this. And the reason why I purchased this is because I was wanting to buy the fresh mask, the one that looks like mashed potatoes. I can't remember the name of it. Soothing maybe, cooling, I don't know, from fresh. But it was such an expensive, I mean, I think that's like 90 bucks, 80, 80 or 90 bucks for that tub. Although I love it, it's really good. And so when I was at Sephora last year, the, um, the lady was like, have you tried the Kiehl's mask? So she looked up on the ingredients of the fresh and the kills and the kills had more vitamins, more extracts, more plant uh, based. It was, it, so it seemed to be a better, better purchase, right? 
but it, this sits on my skin. And yes, when I wake up in the morning, my skin feels hydrated, but I still feel this on there. And so I needed to wash my face off. I couldn't just use my radiance pad, my little exfoliating pad to just clear off, you know, my, I had to wash my face off. So yes, this made my face wash, but, and I wasn't using too much because this took forever to get through. I started using this as um, like just a mask to just put on and leave on for 30 minutes and then wash off because of the way that I, it felt in the morning. So it was it a good mask? Yes, it was a good mask. It did make my face feel firmer, but I did not like that it just set on top. It didn't feel like it ever soaked into my skin. Um, to do the job. It, it 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 literally sat on top. And I know that's what a mask is. I know that's what a, na a mask is. Um, but I've used other overnight masks where I can just use an exfoliating pad or micellar water or something to just clean off my face from the evening, sleep sweat, whatever you want to call it. And this I needed to wash. So long story short, I don't think I would purchase this again. I think I'll just spend the money and get the mashed potato mask that I like from Fresh. Okay, I got a sample pack of native Dota deodorant. I'm going through them like crazy because as it's a trial size pack, they're just, once it gets to this point here, I can't, I'm taking it off from here and it's rolled all the way up. So if you roll it up any farther, it's going to come out and they fall out. So I'm looking at other alternatives to this, but um, I've been using the natural deodorant. Um, okay, zits. Now that I have, um, <laughs> I never had trouble with acne my whole life. Maybe when I was a teenager, there was some times that I was going through one here or there, but I have a very good skincare regimen I have my whole life and I've never had to struggle with it. So I never really bought many products for it. Every now and then I might get one during my period. And so I would use the, um, the salicylic, um, the clean and clear, but also CBS has their own, um, the salicylic 2% one to put on it when it came up and it would go away at overnight or in a day or two. And this is the advanced clean and clear popped pimple relief drying paste that like if you actually do pop your, it has a head on it and you pop it, this would help dry it up overnight. So that it goes away quicker. That's what these are for. Now that I'm older and starting to go through female changes, um, I am struggling with acne, cystic acne, actually. They come up, there. I have one actually right here. I don't know if you can see it. It's, 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 it hurts real bad. And nothing I can do about them, you know? So I had started, I had ordered this Killa from Zitsticka. This is the Killa system from Zitsticka. There's three of them that I've used in the last three months because it seems about once a month that comes up on my face somewhere. And it's going to be, it's always, it's always around my, see how swollen that is right there? Do you guys see that? It's right here, real big. But using this, which is basically comes with a little um, clean, clear patch with it, you just wipe off and clean it to get any residue from your skincare off. And then you have this little patch that has little spikies on it and you press that on where the center of this is and press it down and then you leave it overnight and it's supposed to help reduce the pain and the redness at least that's what i've experienced it kind of reduces the pain and the redness level but these are expensive i think there's five in a pack for like 40 to, I, it's it's expensive maybe it was 30 dollars. this is coming off i'll just take it off I was, I was really enjoying the um, Umbrella Academy vibe. <laughs> um, so I do recommend these for people who have maybe cystic acne where it gets, it's not going to make it go away. These do not make them go away. They just kind of help re relieve a little bit of that pain and redness um, if you put them on when you go to bed at night. So it says it's early stage zits, hyaluronic acid, salicylic acid, niacinamide. I don't know what this is, Olga peptide something. Anyway, it, it may just be a mindset thing. And then this may do absolutely nothing, but that's my experience. Okay. The pharmacy green clean. I did, I do like double cleansing my face. I like using a, it actually had a little spatula on the inside lid. I do like using, oh, 
Yes, that did smell good too. That's the one thing that I didn't like about this. I didn't like that it had a, a, a pleasantly sweet herbal scent to it. It was pleasant, but anything that usually generally has fragrance in it, when you're cleansing your skin, I really don't care for that unless it's natural rose in it. Not that I like the natural rose scent because sometimes it smells like pee, but, but still, I like double cleansing using an oil or a balm and then cleansing with an actual cleanser after. So I liked it. Not sure if I would buy this one again or not, but I do like balms, so maybe. Okay, this I've had in my desk for a very, very, very long time. Um, this is well kept and Sephora doesn't carry them anymore, I don't think, but these were screen cleansing tablets that you could use for your phone, your iPad, your glasses. And Sephora used to sell them and they had these cute little different designs on their packages. There weren't very many of them in here, 15 of them in here, but I would keep them in my purse or whatever. And this one was sitting in my desk and I had one left in it, amazingly, I, and it was still wet. So um, I used it. It worked great. It's for your, your glasses or your phones. It's not for hands. Okay, I like these Beauty 360 exfoliating premium cotton rounds because they have the exfoliating texture on one side. Um, so I do like using these when I do my micellar water. Um, or my um, toner. Those are the kind that I like and they were lint free. So I like the lint free kind. I just picked up another. Well, had my husband pick up another. He wasn't so happy about that. Okay, let's see, here are some things. These were some Beyond Belief Hydrating Hyaluronic Facial Wipes that I use here at the desk. These were okay. These were uh, available at Sally Beauty and I got them in a Sally Beauty kit last year. Um, these are my favorite. These are the Members Mark makeup wipes that, you know, to use to wipe off your desk, your makeup, your hands. And, you know, I know people say bad things about using um, makeup wipes. I don't use makeup wipes to remove makeup very often. Do I do this all the time? No, but I do keep these around because I, I like swatching things on my hand and trying things on my hand. And these work great for removing that kinds of thing. Plus it's really great. Like when we're outside working, coming in and I'm sweaty, I, it's, it's nice to be able to wipe off my face. Okay. Uh, went through the Freeman Beauty Infusion Cleansing Clay Max Charcoal and Probiotics. Was fine. No adverse reactions. The Ahava, Ahava, Ahava Dead Sea Salt, Natural Dead Sea Bass. This was so moisturizing to my skin. Have you guys ever tried this? I haven't even checked into how much it costs, but this was very moisturizing to my skin in, in the bathtub. These were some really nice all-out revitalizing eye masks from Exuviance. I had one. It came in an Ulta thing. It's got vitamin A and C and cucumber extract. And oh my gosh, these are really, really nice. These are things that I like. These are probably really expensive too. I don't know. But these were, I really liked these. Exuviance All Out Revitalizing Eye Mask. These were the Meaningful Beauty from Cindy Crawford Revive and Brighten Under Eye Mask. I also got in an Ulta thing kit. These were more of the hydrogel kind of like, and these were very serum-y. These were very wet and serum-y, and I really enjoyed those as well. Too Much Fun in the Sun mask from Leaders Foundation. Uh, this is a great mask for if you've been out in the sun all day and your face is really hot and tight because you got maybe a little bit too much sun because you weren't prepared when you, even though you had sunscreen on, it was a little too much for you. This is a great, this is a great mask for soothing and calming and helping to pull out some of that heat from your face. Uh, one of my most favorite, most favorite for our hydrating, this is an ultra rich cream. This is the Paula's Choice Moisture Boost Hydrating Treatment for normal to dry skin. This is a really, really good uh, moisturizer and what I put on my face at night when I'm done with everything else. Uh, I really, really like this and I need to buy some more. What else have I got in here that I haven't gone through? Oh, hand soap, hand soap in my bathroom. Impress nails, I have on some impress nails. These are the, what I've got on are the Impress Couture Collection. And I didn't use all, they've got some gold accents. So I actually put that back in because there's probably some more that are going to fit on my nails. But maybe when these pop off, I can replace. But I, these are the long ones. And I usually go for the more shorter ones. Like these are really shorter, a lot shorter than than these. But these are so nice for somebody, you know, I can't do the, the fake nail, the the acrylic nail thing. So, and my nails don't really grow that well, although they are right now for some reason, and I'm not sure. You know what has changed? I'll tell you what's changed. I've been taking that Kiwi, the Kiwi thing from Halo Beauty. Maybe that's 
why my nails have gotten longer. I don't know. And anyway, so that's these blue ones. Here's another set. These are the, um, these are sassy queens that I went through. The ones that I'm wearing today are Holt, H-A-U-T-E, Holtz. And these are sassy queens. And then these are the regular impress ones. And these were just, just the, the white with some silver tipped on there. Really nice and clean. Uh, Lumify. I got a sample of this in the mail and I liked it. Makes your eyes white. Um, so if when headachey, usually the day or two after or the day of and after migraines, my eyes are really, oh, you can tell they're really tired and they've got redness to them and just they don't look bright. So put this in there, Lumify, and it makes your whites white. Your eye whites white. <laughs> Okay, a couple of makeup things. The Abeka First Light Priming Filter. This is the one that's kind of like a purpley and it gives you a brightening kind of effect. This was all right. It was a good primer. I This was just a travel size that I went through. I liked it. I don't know that I would buy the full size because I don't always use primer on my face. But anymore, I've been using Illumilift. I've been using their cream because it instantly brightens your face. Um, this Illumilift, it's Canadian brand, so you have to pay for shipping when you order, unless you order a lot. Um, I used to have a code. I don't know if it still works. Um, I'll link it down below um, if you're interested in trying a Lumilift. I've also bought their gommage, and which is kind of like a face mask sort of thing, and I really like it too, but this is my favorite uh, brightening cream now is um, this Lumilift. So I would buy it before I bought a Becca primer. I went through the Exuviance Detox. This was a sample. Again, I love getting these from Ulta in their in their things. Uh, detox mud treatment. It was a mud treatment and it was fine. I didn't, I don't have anything bad to say about it, um, but I think there's other mud treatments that might be a little bit more affordable because I'm guessing Exuviance kind of expensive. Okay, some lip things. Um, this was the Velour Lip Scrub Candy Necklace that was in my two years ago. I think it was my Beautylish. I got a Jeffree Star one and I didn't finish it all because it, it dried out. It, and it, to me, it was just sugar and olive oil. Maybe I could make my own. I know. I know. Don't hate me for that. But it dried out and I'm just, I'm not going to, I'm not going to finish it. it. It smelled really good though. Uh, this is something that I do think is is um nice this is the sarah hap sweet clay lip mask it's i've had it long enough that the clay in here has turned but this is a really thick mask when you're done scrubbing your your lips you put this mask on for a while put it all over slather it on and make it thick and it kind of just like helps to give you that hydrating hydrating lip but it uh it's it's lasts a long time you get a lot in here and you think about how much space the lips take up on your face is not a whole lot you're not going to go through this very quickly um or at least i didn't and um it's lovely sarah hap i i got it at blue mercury is where i picked this up at. i don't know she has her own site but i don't know where else she's sold at maybe she sold at ulta sarah hap i think it's down to makeup oh my gosh so this is the juno and co cloud sponge. I like the Juno & Co cloud sponge a lot. What I don't like about this, this sponge is that it does stain. I cannot not get my um, all of my makeup out of it so it does stain a little bit but I do love because it's got the round bottom I had to cut some pieces off and it's got the flat point on one side and then a bigger one on, on one side so you can get into the spaces that you need to do your stuff. Yes, no makeup. We're doing a no makeup right now okay it's a sunday morning and we're just not not any makeup yet today still early so went through a sponge several months and um i have another one i have another one so i am gonna use it all right mascaras i'm having deja vu i'm having i'm having a big deja vu like i've talked about all of these before <laughs> This is the um, super fan from Smashbox. I really liked this wand. I think my favorite thing about this one was that it didn't leave your lashes crispy, if you know what I mean, which this one from Clinique doesn't either. And I think this is my favorite one. This is the high impact, the Clinique high impact. Actually, I actually have a full size that I got. I haven't cracked into yet because I had so many of these. This is a very nice big 
uh, wand on it and it is also leaves your lashes feeling soft and not crackly. Charlotte Tilbury, the legendary lashes. You know, the, her, this, look at this wand is beautiful. It felt nice on my, it was great. It made them look fabulous, but oh my gosh, the fading and the melting of the mascara on the top and the bottom was, tr oh, it, it melted phenomenally. I will just say that. It, it, it just came, it just wore, you know, raccoon eye. So it looks good for a few minutes. And then after that, it just starts getting up here and it starts getting down here. And then there was this, I got this in a Blue Mercury Luna Aster mystery box. This is the Luna Aster Formidable Lengthening Mascara. No, this is not, it didn't lengthen. It is just basically uh, coating your mask, coating your lashes to look black. It, I didn't care for this mascara. I mean, it was fine, but it to be the price that they have, it didn't do anything better than any drugstores. And there are some whoppers at the drugstores that are, are, this doesn't even compare to. So not a fan of that mascara. Okay, my Marc Jacobs eyeliners. Is anybody else having this trouble with them? They just don't last very long. I just want to show you this. This broke off. There, it broke. It just, I'm pressing really, really hard. to try to get it and it's just they dry up these are the these are the Marc Jacobs are these the highliners what are these called they just dry out so quickly I'm just and, they, and they're not cheap it's a little frustrating and then I have some I think the last thing I've got in here are some oh this was the lasting perfection concealer I've had this forever this was a concealer that was in my makeup swap, my beauty swap with the Ting Thing from England. We had a really nice, great, she's a really great, I think she's on YouTube. If I'll link her down below if she's still on YouTube, but she's very active on Instagram. A lovely, lovely person and a wonderful personality, beautiful woman. But this was one of the things that she had sent to me and I used every little bit of it that I could. Yes, it's been a couple of years that it's been, but I, I used every little bit of it. And I don't know what brand it is. Is Lasting Perfection a, a brand? It says collection on it, but I couldn't tell you what what brand it was. Uh, and then the last things are lip items. This was a little Too Faced Mini Naked Dolly. And um, I could probably dip my brush in there and get the rest of that out, but I'm, I've got a lot of lipsticks, so I'm not gonna do that. I think I actually have a full-size Naked Dolly. And I like that color a lot. This was, these were the, these were my bright colors. These were balms that I had in my bathroom that when I would get up and as, I, as I'm doing my skincare and everything before the day, I would put these on there. These are like, this was the Tarte Amused. I don't know if they even sell these anymore. These little, I would take my finger down in it to get it. But these are bright pink colors that I liked just to, you know, start with the day, make you, you know, um, this was a more, this was very, very, uh, from Laura Geller, Love Me Do. This was in the color Happy Full. And um, it definitely was a beautiful, happy color. So can you see that? I love it. That is it. Oh, wait, no. There was a little mascara here, Lash Sensational, full fan effect from Maybelline. Not a fan. It's not the wand. The wand was fine. I'm just not a fan of the full fan mascara. I, I don't think it did a really good job of having the the volume with the length in it together and that's what I want I want a little bit of volume but I want my and I have fairly long lashes although I've had like over here I think I've lost like three or four and I don't know why they just fall out is that a sign of aging is my eyelash hairs are falling out <laughs> I think that's it I think that's it for my empties well it's another long one doesn't matter how little I go through I can talk about all these products I can talk about products all the time. What else is there is to do right now but to play with skincare and makeup for people who like that? I'm making no sense. Okay, I'm gonna let y'all go. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, for checking out when I went through my empties. If you had tried any of these products or have any suggestions from what I've talked about in any of these products, do link, put that in your comments down below and don't forget I have a giveaway going on right now, so check that video out. I will link it down here below as well. And I would like for you all to take a moment and think about the good and the happy in your life. Focus on that, even if it's just for a moment. Feel good and happy. 
and come back and see me again. Mwah. Bye.